Okie dokie. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a video using kind of some new products and some products that I want to give another shot. Like the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I've been playing with it today and I came up with a look I kind of like, but I'm still feeling like this palette is not really what I expected it to be, so... Yeah, I'm just going to be trying a couple of things that I haven't used in a while or haven't used. I'm trying out a new foundation. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. I already did one eye. And for the brows, I am trying, I tried the Benefit Cabrow. I don't really care for this. It was just a sample. But I did one brow with that and like the little freaking brush it came with and the little freaking, I don't know. I'd rather a pencil, but I did do my brows with this, so I might as well do this side. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to try some things I haven't used in a while, try some new a new foundation, and I didn't bring a freaking spoolie down. Oh, freaking well, they're going to have to spool themselves. I don't really care for this product anyway, so it's not like... I'm going to go upstairs and grab a spoolie. Yeah, I don't like the... Ooh, my eyes are tearing like a mofo. I don't like the Cabral. So that's going in the trash. Because it's a piece of trash. In your ass. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of wanted to do something different today. Here, my fucking feet are falling asleep. I still really don't care for the palette. The Kat Von D one, but I did do something different. What did I do? What did I? I don't know. I did like a purpley kind of look. Oh, so I did my lid color first. I just did like two colors. I took the color Glitz, which is like a pinky, freaking glittery color. I don't know. I just, it's probably the prettiest one in the palette. And I put that all over my lid. Then I just went in the crease with a pencil brush with one color. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm done. Because I've been playing with it and trying all different looks, and I just can't... I just don't like this palette. What color did I take? Oh, velvet. It's like a maroon color. I don't know, I just don't like it. So I just took velvet on a pencil brush and just legit. My eyes are freaking tearing. I don't know why. I just, I can't seem to like this. I tried and I wanted to try again. But I can't. I just, I don't like it. I'm going to return it. I tried though, everybody. I tried. <sighs> I really did. Like you wouldn't believe, I tried so much. I even tried other colors. I took the outer V brush and I took... Oak, and I went in the crease too. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> oh well. It ain't gonna be friggin' perfect. I could fix that. No biggie. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I have to fix that because it's annoying me. I'm just taking my cleanup brush here that I use. Yeah, so I don't know. I just don't like this palette. Sorry, people. If you like it, that's great. I'm just taking velvet again. I'm still using it for this video. 
But after that, I am going to return it tomorrow because I only use like two colors. Legit. And Sephora has a good return policy. I'm not going to keep something I do not like, you know what I mean? I don't know, people. I tried. At least you get to see, you know? What did I do? Oh, I freaking did a brow bone color, too. I took the color bone in here. It's like a white freaking color. Hence the name bone. This is a pretty brow bone highlight, but I feel like snow from the La Rock palette is like the same freaking color, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep it out to do the bottom, and it got, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. I, I don't know. I don't really, it's very messy. I have it on a towel because it got all over my carpet last time, and Mama didn't want to deal with that again. That's the look I came up with. We will do the bottom after. I don't care for uh, Cabrow either. So I'm going to do my face. I'm going to use the same primer I've been using. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is amazing. BTW. I'm going to do my face and then we will do the bottom after we're done with all this shit. Yeah, baby. Um, Oh, this primer is freaking amazing. I recommend you try it. Get a sample of stuff before you try it, though, shit. That's why I got a sample of this foundation, because I did not know if I really wanted to purchase it or not. It is the Makeup Forever... Um, what's it called? That freaking HD foundation or whatever. I don't know. I just, I wanted to try it out. The lady at Sephora... color matched me to this and I don't know if she did a good job but I am just going to pour it on the back of my hand because this is like the most retarded freaking container ever and my dog's freaking snoring again like this container is so freaking stupid this looks like she matched me to this and it looks freaking orange Am I the only one seeing this? Like, this is what the bitch matched me to. And I look like a freaking Oompa Loompa right now. What the fuck, lady? And you work at Sephora? I don't think so, honey. This is why I got a sample. Because I did not want to purchase it if it wasn't going to be something that I liked. I do like the way it's feeling right now, but I don't like the color. What the frig is wrong with this lady? She matched me to this color. Does this look like my color? Do I look like I'm freaking orange over here, people? <laughs> look at this crap. And she's supposed to be working for Sephora? That bitch needs to get fired, really. Lady, what is this? This is what she gave me. Mm-mm. Hunty, you need a new job. Or you need to learn how to color match. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I was going to buy the full size, but I'm like, give me a sample first. Let me try it. If I like it, I will purchase it. They were trying to get me to purchase it so freaking bad. But I'm like, hell no. Look at this. It's freaking orange. Do I like the way it feels and covers? Hell yeah, but I don't like the color. Dang. Does that look like me? No. Holy freaking moly. Now I'm going to set that because I don't know if it's going to help or not. But I do like that foundation. I just don't like the color. And it's not my fault. It's the lady's fault. I'm taking my Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. And I'm going to set that bitch because I don't know if it's going to make it worse or what. But holy freaking moly, lady. You need to practice your color matching some more. This is not my skin color. 
I should have freaking looked when she was putting it on me, but I didn't. I was like, she was like, I trusted her because she works at Sephora. She was like, oh yeah, it matches you. It's good. It's good. Here's a sample. And I'm like, okay. But it's just a sample, so it's not like it's a big deal. But still, bitch, learn how to fucking color match. Shoot, I wouldn't send somebody home with a sample that looked like, made them look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. Damn, woman. Mm -mm. I like the foundation, though. I just don't like I mean, the color is just not right for me. Okay? Okay. What is next? Oh, concealer. I'm going to be using my Bye Bye Pores. I should have used that dang foundation. Because I haven't used this thing in a minute, and I wanted to use products I haven't used in a while. And I am literally taking a freaking dot. Because I haven't used this in a long time, guys. And this stuff, look how thick it is. Just warming it up between my fingers and just going to go legit you probably don't even need a beauty blender for this or a brush but I am going to use it just to see how it performs because I actually never used a beauty blender with the bye bye under eye concealer Maybe I have once. Oh yeah, it definitely helps. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I missed that concealer. See? And then to set that, I'm going to use something I haven't used in a while, which is the NYX HD Banana Powder. I was loving this thing for so long. Look, I hit the major pan on it. Okay, where's my setting brush? Don't tell me I forgot it. Fucking bitch. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to use it. I just brought a couple of brushes downstairs because I was like, yep, yeah, I'm only going to be needing a couple. Whoops. I should put this all over my freaking face to make me look a little bit lighter. Instead of looking like a dang Oompa Loompa. You feel me, Pipa? Love this stuff. I need to start using it more. Alright. <laughs> My dog's over here snoring. Oh, God. For bronzer, I'm using something I haven't used in, like, the longest time. It's the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Guys, I haven't even touched, like, the highlights or anything. I used one bronzer, and that was it. I don't even know why I bought this thing. But we're going to use it. So I'm going to use the medium contour. Make me look more like a freaking Oompa Loompa. Oh, I almost went into the highlight there. I really like this thing. I just haven't used it because I have so many other things that I never really reach for that. Okay. Okay. Um. And for blush, I haven't even touched this yet. Is the Lorac Cue the Confetti Highlighter and Blush Palette. I'm thinking I'm going to use the blush tinge. It's very light and I don't want like a wham bam blush and I haven't even touched this so is that supposed to be the freaking highlighter oh no the highlighter is spotlight that's pretty it's very light and I like it So, yeah, this is really nice. Mama just hasn't used it yet. That's my first time using it, so I like the blush. It's very pretty. And a highlighter I'm going to use. Ooh, fuck your mother. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Got my little tree shit on. It, I haven't used this in so long. Is the Bombs Cindy Luminizer. God, I haven't used this in so long. It's like the pink one. I like the, what's that one called? The Mary Luminizer. 
the mine broke. And I like pink tone highlighters. I think they're very beautiful on tan skin. Not bad, not bad. Gotta start using these ones more because I have all of them. My God, I need to start using like a lot of shit here, people. And for eyeliner, I'm going to use the NYX Slide On Gl Glide On Eyeliner in... What do you call it? Gunmetal? Yeah. I have all the NYX eyeliners. I just... I always use the black one, so I'm like, why don't I use a different one? And I figure it's the metal matte palette when I use a freaking gunmetal color. I should have grabbed the purple one. That would have matched with this. These eyeliners are the best. So now I'm going to go on the bottom. And I ain't going to go too freaking far, people, because, and like I said, I'm not really crazy about this palette. So I'm just going to take the color velvet and go... On the lower lash line. Damn, dog. And then I'm going to take the twinkle. Not twinkle. Frickin' twinkle. Twinkle this. The frickin' glitz. <laughs> twinkle this. Oh, shit. And kind of go in the inner corner and connect the rest. Alright, because that's what I feel like freaking doing. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this palette back. I don't like it. No, hunty. Sorry. I tried. I gave it a third try. It's still not performing the way I want it to perform. So, bye-bye, Kat Von D. Alright, now. The last thing to try is one of the new MAC freaking Nutcracker shit lipsticks from... Yeah, the Nutcracker thingy. This one is in Kinda Sexy. And they're so freaking cute. Come on, how adorable is that? And I have yet to try these yet either. This is a pretty color. It smells freaking good. So this is in kind of sexy. Wow, I really like it. It's pretty. So that is it, guys. No new mascaras or nothing. Actually, I did have the L'Oreal one to try, but I ain't opening it yet because I have so many mascaras open. But that is it for my look trying some new products and some things that I wanted to give a second chance. Stuff I haven't used in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see next, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!